How to make a birthday invitation in Canva. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and having an amazing day. I bring you back another Canva tutorial and in this video we're going to be discussing how you can make your very own birthday cards. So you want to learn how to make a birthday card uh, because you want to give it to your loved ones or your friends or your family or to your work colleague, to anyone. So and you don't know how you can make it. Do not worry, I am here for you because I will be teaching you in the easiest ways on how you can use Canva to create any kind of birthday card that you want. And uh, by the end of this video, you're going to know how to do it. And don't worry, it's very simple, it's very easy, and I'm going to guide you through all of it. And uh, yeah, we should get right into it. So to get right into it, we're going to need to go to Canva.com, of course. And once we load it up, you're going to need to make sure you sign in with your Google account. And uh, if you don't know how to use Canva, please make sure to check my channel for a Canva tutorial. I have explained it very well on how you can use Canva. It's a very easy application and there is no complexity in it. So once you've watched the video and you've learned the main basics of Canva, what you're going to need to do is you're going to come to the search bar. And in the search bar, you're going to go ahead and write birthday. And once you write birthday, here you can see kids birthday invitation. So this is basically a template and, or a blank canvas in which they allow us to make our very own kids birthday template or invitation template. So we're just going to click on that. And once you click on that, and wait for it to load up. Look at this. We have tons and tons of different templates that we can use if we want to. Or we can just start from a blank canvas. Now it's totally on you on what you want to use. So if you don't want to waste a lot of time, you can just click on a template, open it up. Uh, for example, you know what? I like this template, so I'm going to open it up and show you how can you how you can do it really quickly. For example, here's this pastel template. So you're just going to keep it like this, and you're going to write, for example, John's. 14th, yeah, just write John's 14th. Then you can write your venue, you can write whatever the RSVP and your phone number. And yeah, once you've done that, here you go. Here's your birthday card invitation created in like what two minutes? And that's such a bargain. And then you just go on share, you click on download, and you download it. But of course, this is from created templates that Canva already provides you. If you want to get a little more creative and do it your way, what you can do is go over here and create on create a blank canvas. Now on this blank canvas, it just provides us with the dimensions and the features. Now what we need to do is create it by ourselves. So to create it by yourself, obviously, I'm going to walk you through it. It's very easy. So just keep watching and you'll learn. So you're going to click on the blank canvas and obviously you're going to need a background color. So we're just going to take a solid and nice background color. For example, yellow. Yellow is a good and uh, happy color. We're going to choose that and then we're going to go on elements. Now, once we're on elements, we're just going to uh, do some, you know what? It's a kid's birthday party. So I'm just going to write birthday. I'm going to put up some birthday elements. For example, I'm going to take a cake. I'm going to put it right down here. And I'm going to take some balloons. I'm going to put them on the side like this. I'm going to take another one. I'm going to put it on the side like this. And then I'll take the confetti. And I'm going to put it right here like that. And uh, I can take this. And just to make it look a bit funky, I'm going to place it down right here. I'm going to place it right behind the cake. And for that, you're going to need to click on this. You're going to write send to back. And look at that. It's gone in the back. And you can even take more if that seems a bit off to you. You can take more. You can take presents. You can change the color to white. And once you do that, you're going to change the altitude of that too. And once you do that, you're going to take it to the back. Click on it. Send to back. There you go. It looks much better now. So you get the gist of it. It doesn't look great, but you get the point. So then you're going to go on text and you're going to start wanting to write your text. Now you can choose it from any of these amazing fonts. Uh, so for example, I want it to be a kitty font. So uh, a, a font that a kid can easily read and they'll like as well. So I'm going to take the glow font because a glow font attracts your attention and it's easy to read. So I'm going to write 
you are invited and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the font down a notch I'm gonna take it to 12 or that's a bit too small we're gonna make it a bit bigger I'm gonna make it 32 and once I do that I'm gonna align it right here once I do that then I go to the text color obviously I'm gonna adjust it to whatever looks best over here so for example I think what will look best is a green font because green goes great with yellow so yeah green font matches amazingly and then you're just going to copy this and you're going to paste it you're going to bring it down here and write your other text for example to i'm going to do that i'm going to align it we're just going to make this there we go yeah like that in the center we're going to make this in the center and we're going to paste it again we're going to bring it down here i'm going to bring this one down here and then we're going to write to John 14th. And yeah, that's basically about it. Now obviously, the text looks a bit dry. So you, what you can do is you can add it in a box. So you can just go and write box. I'm going to take this box. You're going to lower the size. You're going to adjust it to the text like this. And as you do so, obviously, it looks a bit off right now. So you're going to click on the box and you're going to change its color to whatever you like. For example, Wait, I'm going to click on the box. Yeah, there we go. And then you can mess around with it. For example, if you want to make it white, you can make it white. You can decrease or increase the contrast. And once all of that is done, you can add more elements over here just to make it look a bit full. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it. For example, I just add this element. It looks like a, a kid's thing to do. I'm just going to add it here. And just, I'm going to add more to the side yeah basically that's about it and that's how easily you can make your own birthday card invitation so then you're just gonna go on share you're gonna click on download uh, you're gonna choose your file type so if you want it to be a PNG you can do that for example if it's a digital invite you're gonna go on PNG and you're gonna send it digitally <clears throat> you're gonna send it digitally but if it's uh, something you want to print, then you're going to go on PDF print and then you're going to download it. And once all of that is done, you are done with your birthday card invitation. And that is how simple it is. I created this birthday card in what? Around eight minutes. And look at how easy it was and look at how attractive it looks. Obviously not the greatest, but it's something. And you can make it look better than this in maximum 10 to 15 minutes. So that's how simple it is. And yeah, that's the basic gist of it. And you're just going to go on home. And uh, don't worry, if even if you close your Canva, what Canva does is what I like about it is that it saves all your products. So if you go on projects, you're going to see all your previous projects saved. And that's the great thing about it. And uh, for example, if you also want to get the pro plan, you can get it from here because what the pro plan does is it gives you extra features for example, there are a few templates that you can't use for the birthday card invitations. If you get the pro plan, you can use all of them. And that's how great the pro plan is. And if you want to buy it, you can just buy it from here. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope this video was easy for all of you. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you ASAP. Like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. Share the video with your loved ones. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.